Hello, boys and girls. It's Miss Deanne. Well, you may wonder why I have the hat on my head right now, but hopefully by the end of this devotional, you'll understand why. Um, our First of all, I want to give a big shout out to all the boys and girls that I haven't seen in quite a while because I've been sick with coronavirus and pneumonia and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I am getting better day by day, and I hope to see a lot of you at school again because I really miss being a part of school, and I've talked to a few of you. I want to give a special shout out today to um, David Morhoken, who has come to live with Angel, and also for Leland. So I hope you all have a great day. I want to say hello to all of you and tell you how much I enjoy spending just a few minutes with you, how awesome it is. And thank you for all those that have prayed for me too, and continue to pray for me and all those who are dealing with COVID. So thank you very much. Our verse today is the Lord protects you as the slight shade protects you from the sun. More than 28 million light years away, that's incomprehensible to me, guys, is a giant hat. Probably like my hat. No, not like my hat. Bigger. Um, it looks like a sombrero to be exact. The galaxy's unusual appearance comes from the ring of dark dust around it and a bulge of billions of glowing stars at its center. Wow. Scientists believe that it's a supermassive black hole with a mass of one billion suns lies at the center of the sombrero. So I've been learning about um, black holes and stuff like that because um, I'm helping two girls in uh, high school with uh, earth science. And that's been kind of neat because earth science is not really my thing, but we're learning a lot about space and science through these devotionals. The word sombrero comes from the word sombre, on hell, David, don't correct me if I'm wrong, uh, which means shade. Uh, the sombreros in Mexico can be as wide as two feet long. I think this one's probably about a foot brim. Um, that's a lot of shade, but the, the farmers and the ranchers uh, need them to need the sombreros to uh, give them protection from the shade. Uh, sometimes following Jesus can feel like a hard workout in the scorching sun. And I never, ever liked yard work. Um, I had to do it when I was little um, with my mom. And then now I have to do it with Pastor Brian. I don't like it. But if you don't do yard work, you don't have a pretty yard. So sometimes we just have to do it. We have to do the same things we don't like. Uh, sometimes people are like that. People don't want to hear about God. They don't want to hear you uh, talk to them about Jesus because they don't really know and love Jesus. And um, they just don't know enough. But, um, and you might even be laughed at for believing in God. People might say you can't pray in certain places. Um, you know, lately we're having lots of things that what we can and can't do with COVID. But people are still saying we can't pray in schools or in our houses. Of course we can. That's what God wants us to do. Um, so if you're sick, that's been me, or you've known someone that's sick, that's probably a lot of you too. Um, or if your pet has died, uh, or if you're stressed out about schoolwork, I bet that's all of you too. Or making friends seems difficult. I know it's really been hard because nothing's normal and you don't get to be around all your friends. So I imagine that all of those things apply. Um, when someone you love is sick, a person or pet dies, you're stressed out with homework, or making friends seems difficult. Any of those. Just uh, You just need to rest in the Lord. And I have family and friends that are telling me right now that I need to rest more. And I've been learning about wisdom this week from the book of David. I mean, from, the, from Dave, King David and King Solomon. From the book of Proverbs and 1 Chronicles and 2 Chronicles and 1 Kings and 2 Kings. I haven't read all of those this week, but I've read a lot. So anyway, and God wants to be our shade. He provides the best protection that we could ever have. Way better than this silly old hat. Uh, so God provides so much better protection. He gives us the rest we need so that we can go back out and face the heat of the world. Go back and tell others about Jesus. And that's what I'm looking forward to doing when I get better. So that I can go back and tell other boys and girls and other adults about Jesus. 
And hopefully you will join me and do the exact same thing. Remember, you can write a letter, you can draw a picture, or you can call someone. You don't have to visit them face to face. There's lots of ways to do that. And God's been showing me that too. Lord, I want to tell the Oh, guys, let's just go ahead and have a prayer together. Lord, I want to tell the world all about you. I want to be your servant. I want to do what you would ask me to do. I want to be wise. I want to be to rest in you, Father. I want you to know, I want other people to know that I love you so much. I want these boys and girls to know that you love them and you care about them. And their problems are deep in many right now. But Father, you are the rest that we need. You are, it's just like a sombrero for us. You're the shade that we need. We need your shade. We need your comfort. We need your rest. And so I just pray for these boys and girls. I thank you so much for each one of them. Each one is so special. And, and uh, I just thank you for each one of them. And I just uh, pray that you would uh, protect them from uh, sickness in their family, from coronavirus or anything else. We want to specifically lift up Joanna Collins, who just had surgery this week. We pray for her and for her recovery and for good results, Father. We lift her up to you, Father. And we pray for um, uh, others who uh, are suffering. We thank you for the chance to pray. We thank you that you hear all of our deepest needs, whether it be uh, help with schoolwork or uh, crying over someone who's sick or, or has died. Father, all these things we ask in your name. Amen. Okay, one more thing to share with you about the sombrero, okay? The sombrero made its first appearance in the 15th century. That's back in the 1400s, guys. And it was made of felt or straw. And it used to be worn in Spain, Mexico, and the southeastern United States. But now, all kinds of cowboys wear it. So maybe you have a sombrero at home or around the house. Maybe you can go get it out. Maybe you can remind yourself that all we need to do is rest in the Lord and rest in the shade of His comfort. That nothing that we have is too big if we just ask the Lord for help. And I thank you so much for each one of you. I'm sorry I missed last week, but I look forward to seeing you again next week. Love you. Bye-bye.